Yeah, this is why I went to college. So hello, welcome back to Hissy Fit. I'm Lauren and this is Treat Yourself. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to make three different types of hair masks to lush up those locks, all thanks to the magic of coconut oil. So the internet is obsessed with coconut oil. But really, who can blame it, as coconut oil basically is sweat from the gods. I'm learning I'm not good at describing things. So I'm sure most of you are aware, but just in case for old Judy in the back there, Hey. Dumping coconut oil in your head can save even the saddest of straws. Look at my hair. Do you think this is anywhere near my real color? No. This poor mop gets dyed, curled, straightened, and I even have a cat that sometimes chews on it. There's something wrong with you. And I genuinely believe part of the reason I still have hair attached to my head is thanks to coconut oil. But here's the thing, you can take this elixir further. So first mask, this is for those of you that have damaged hair. <laughs> Hello. With this, you're going to be using an egg. Yes, an egg. Eggs are super rich in protein, which makes your hair follicles stronger and can even make your hair thicker. But don't just go cracking sunny side up eggs onto your hair. Wait, what? Instead, I like to crack one into a bowl with about a tablespoon or two of coconut oil and just mix this up thoroughly. By mixing this really well, your coconut oil will thin out. Or if you want to, you could heat your coconut oil up a bit, but just make sure you cool it before. Otherwise, it will cook your egg a little bit. Then in some clothes you don't care about, with your hair combed through, flap this on your hair. Obviously, if you have more hair than me, you might want to double this, but just use whatever it takes to get your hair fully saturated. Then leave this on your hair for about 30 minutes and wash it out with cooler water. This will again keep your hair from turning into breakfast. It will also help close the hair follicles. For mask number two, this is for those of you that might have dandruff. Don't be ashamed, raise that hand. But if you would like to get rid of it a little bit, lemon juice. Lemon juice is actually antifungal and obviously has citric acids and vitamin C in them, which is all great for getting rid of dandruff. And obviously coconut oil is really moisturizing, which is good if you have a drier scalp. For this mask, I find it easier to heat the coconut oil up on your stove top for just a minute and then mix in the juice of one lemon. And then just make sure you let this cool before applying it on your head. Don't be burning yourself. I don't have a mask for that. So apply this to your hair focusing on your roots and leave this on for about an hour, then rinse out. And finally, our third mask. This is for those that might be trying to grow their hair out a bit. If you are, allow me to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Bear. Honey is actually really good for your hair because it's an emollient. This means it will actually help seal the moisture in your hair, reducing breakage, which is a problem when you're trying to grow your hair. So this mask is gonna be a little sticky and a little greasy, just like my favorite. 80% of the time. But mix one tablespoon of honey into your coconut oil and let both of these heat on the stove top until they're nice and melted. Then just apply this to the ends of your hair, working your way up to your root, and leave on for about 15 to 30 minutes. And then wash this out really well. Your hair might be a tiny bit greasy within the first wash, but I promise it'll go away within the next one. No problemo. And that's everything. I hope that you try these out and your hair is magical and smooth and everything you've ever dreamed of. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to Hizzy Fit. Ta-ta! Well, this is gonna be fun to clean up.